Good evening. Let's get back into this lovely little game. If it'll capture correctly. Oh yeah, I don't need my keyboard at all in this one, do I? Six hours. It's already been that long. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I'm by a dragon. And I need to come over here for some reason. You're just lovely. I need to get some special breath. Ash. Ash. I need dragon ash. Hi. <coughs> Use the scale flint. Yeah. Okay, here goes nothing. Run! Kaboom. That was a close one. Great job. Yay, look at that. The water's back. Wait, does that go somewhere? No, of course not. Only looks like it should go somewhere. Okay, how's that? All better? I can't remember if it was one or two. <coughs> Hello. What is it you need? We did it. My sources tell me that you got the job done. We did. There were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think I should uphold my end of the bargain. One moment, please. Oh, lovely effects. Well then, here you go. Received dragon ash. See to it that Kazuko grows that flower to its fullest potential. It means a lot to her, you know. Tell me, child. Do you know why Kazuko is growing a hiki, uh, hikaribana? I'm not sure. Here in the forest, the hikaribana is a symbol of great love. <clears throat> they say it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond, to help someone who's been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko is trying to remind her husband of their love, for she feels she has forgotten her. He has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. He mentions her all the time. Yes, but she does not know that. They have not spoken in ages. They haven't? Kisiburu's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented. He can't tell day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. That's why it's a noble thing you are doing, helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck, and may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. <coughs> For some reason, it felt like I was saying the wrong name. That's a lot louder than I remember it being. Puppy! I mean, Pucci! Now, where is she? Is she in here? Yes. <coughs> there you go. Thank you so much for your help. We shared your tea. How'd it go? It went great. They all loved... <coughs> Welcome, and what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from Rupert? Milady, the monsieur sends his highest regards. He loved the sample of tea you gave him. We all did. That's wonderful to hear. If it's all right with you, the monsieur would like to place a rather large order within the coming week. Of course it's all right with me. I'll begin preparations immediately. You are always welcome to join us for the afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, I would love to join all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. I'm more confident now that folks around the forest will know of the Midnight Tea Shop. <clears throat> you better believe it. Actually, I should turn off the Dixper stuff because it doesn't really... Just a moment. It doesn't really work with this game. There we go. It just... It doesn't work with this one because it doesn't sync to it because it's it's too low res or something thanks so much for your help um we got the dragon ash oh you got the dragon ash 
Thank you so much. Well, then I think it's time for me to visit Kisiburu at the hot springs. Now that the Hikerebana has some dragon ash to help it bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's gonna love that. Actually, on second thought, why don't we all go together? I'm sure that my husband will want to personally thank you both for the helping us out with the shop. That sounds great. All right, then, let's go. Water. Kisiboro's missing. Oh, goodness. Where did he go? Kisiboro! Kisiboro, where are you? That is very strange. I'm so sorry, you two. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with Kisiboro, but I'm honestly not sure where he went. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you'd like. Thanks again for all your help. Upstream, perhaps? Hmm? Door. Oh, right, okay. What happened back in the other world? Mom, look. You found another door. Where do you think it leads? Hmm. Only one way to find out. What happened to Kisiboro? <clears throat> Is he out digging in the dirt again? Where am I? Oh, I'm her. Okay. Kisiboro, can you tell us what year it is? I don't have time for this. I have to fix this order before my supervisor gets back. Kisiboro, I want you to try and focus on my voice. Can you tell me where you are right now? What kind of question is that? I have to fix the power lines! I think we're going to have to run some more tests. I'll set something up with the lab this afternoon. What tests... What? It's... Sounds good. Are you just gonna keep talk taking my tools away from me? Yep, and then we're gonna run away and not tell you anything. Hello, dear. I brought you some of your favorite snacks. I thought it might help to... Who are you? Unauthorized people aren't supposed to be here. It's dangerous. <sighs> it's me. It's your Kazuko. Did the supervisor send you? Are you here to cover the night shift? <sighs> Kisiboru, do you remember this flower? We really don't have much time. If I don't get the power back up, boss is not going to be happy. You don't remember, do you? Oh, look how young. Hey, Kisiporo. You've certainly been visiting a lot these days. Me, I uh. Oh, there she is. Okay. She's a very similar looking sprite. That's all. <laughs> Crushing on the bread girl. I just really like the bread. <laughs> sure, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Miss Kazuko, these desserts are lovely. Thank you. Please let me know if you need anything else. <laughs> Stop it, Noble. She'll hear you. 
Oh, what are you waiting for? <clears throat> go talk to her. I'm going, I'm going. Um. Oh, hello, Kisiboro. Kazuko, oh, wow, I didn't know you were working today. Ha! Well, um, we have some new red bean manju if you'd like to try them. Oh, I'd love to. But I don't have any money. Kisiboru? Oh, sorry, I just... I just... I brought you a gift. Aw, a gift? That is so nice of you. Okay, close your eyes. Oh. All right, you can open them. Oh, Kisiporo, how lovely. Beautiful flower for a beautiful lady. Oh, you're such a smooth talker. I'm not just being smooth. So smooth. I really mean it. I would bring you flowers until we were old and gray and couldn't remember things anymore. Is that so? I'm certain of it. That's so sweet. Give him a break, Kazuko! Poor guy was pacing outside for 20 minutes before I came in here. Boo! Oh, you poor thing. You must be so thirsty. I'll bring you some tea to go with the dessert. Well, I definitely can't say no to that. Oh, they're so cute. And it's so sad. Oh, that's why he's been digging. He's looking for the flowers. Or maybe he's got the seeds somehow? I don't know. Kisiboro, dinner's ready. I just put the baby down for her nap so we can have a bit of quiet time. Kazuko, you only get one day off, but you still work so hard on the garden. What are you planting out here? Is it those radishes you got from the... I, uh... Did you plant all these? Well, I... He's so cute. Yep. Those flowers. Do you like them? That's the flower you gave me when I worked at the bakery. Oh, Kisibura, of course I like them. I can't believe you remembered. He didn't. Oh, no. I'm yours, Kazuko. I always will be. What if he didn't remember? Already. The flowers are in bloom again. Are those your daughters? Mom. Are you still here? Oh, Mom, you must be exhausted. You need to go home and get some rest. The doctors will call you if anything urgent happens. I'm not leaving. Then at the very least, will you please eat something? I will. We're going to go turn in some of the paperwork. Mom. It's going to be okay. I know. I just need some time with him is all. Call us if you need anything. I will. Is there any of you left in there? <sighs> it's sad. I worked with patients like this and it's so hard on their families. Oh, look at that watermelon! That should do it. Dear, I brought you some water to help you cool down. You've been working so hard on your garden that... Kisiburu! Kisiburu, Kisiburu, can you hear me? He collapsed. Kazuko, get some rest, my dear. I think the baby's crying. It might be time to change his diaper. What? We don't even have a son. The baby, don't you hear that? 
and me. Our babies are all grown up. Right. All grown up. Try to get some sleep. It's so sad. Kisiboro. Kisiboro, where are you, dear? Kisiboro, what's going on in there? They're closing in on us. Kisiboro, what are you doing? Hey, you! Why are you still here? We've been dismissed. Can't you see we're under attack? Kisiboro, please get off the table. You're gonna hurt yourself. What's going on in here? The supervisor gave us all orders to leave. We have to go now. Dad, what are you doing? Go get help. I'll try to stop him from breaking anything else. Mom, it's not safe for you. I'll be fine. Just go. Ma'am, I know you want to take care of to care for your husband, but at this point, he's a danger to you. I am not afraid of my husband. Mom, you can't do this by yourself. Raiko's right. Oh, we do have sons. Dad needs constant supervision. Takashi. It's just too much for you, Mom. When he could still talk with me, he told me that if he got worse, he'd prefer to stay in his own home. I just want to honor that. Mom, I don't mind staying up all night. I can prepare all the meals in advance and make sure to... Mom! Dad doesn't even remember you. I'm sorry, Mom. It's just... This is better for both of you if Dad doesn't stay here anymore. I know. You're right. Okay. We can move him in the morning. Well, that moved quickly. What's it like in there? Inside your head, I mean. Are you scared? Do you feel any pain? Do you still remember anything about yourself? Or about your life before this all happened? Please, tell me you remember something. Anything. That's odd. I could have sworn that door was boarded up when I got here. Yeah, a ten-year-old went at it with an axe. Kazuko? So if they go through the door, can they find the door? Do they loop on themselves? Where could he have gone? It bloomed. Fly away. Be free. Oh, she's so sad. No, I have to find him. Oh yeah, you're a water person. That shouldn't alarm me. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Oh, he has a garden on. Kisiboro? Oh, Kisiboro, I was so worried. I looked everywhere for you. I... Oh my 
goodness. Did you plant all of these? Well, I am. Um... Yup. Oh, Kisimoro. Do you like them? Of course I do. All the feels in these games. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you both again. Times have been tough, but I'm going to try my best every day. We have a saying in the world of tea, one time, one meeting. Basically, this could be the first and last time we ever meet. The first and last chance, the first and last moment. So let's make it the best it can be. Take care, my friends. These stories are just so good. <laughs> Mom, there's a door in the tea shop. I wonder if this one leads back to the hospital. Let's go check it out. It probably do. Hello. Do -de do The big pipe's connected to the small pipe. The small pipe's connected to the big drain. The big drain's connected to the... Oh, crap. Oh, hey, guys. Hi, Uma. What is that thing? Oh, you mean this thing? It's a water pump. They used them to drain the water back when the lower floors and the hospital got flooded after the... Well, you know. Yeah. There's a few more around here. I'm trying to find them. Why are you looking for them? Mm-hmm. I like you, kid, so I'm going to be real with you. We both know there's something special about this place. I see. you. I've seen you watering random plants, making the beanstalks grow, talking to bears and water people. How did you know? These worlds are connected. You know this as well as I do. These devices, they seem to drain more than just the water that used to be here in the hospital. Why don't you try it? Maybe it'll open up some new paths for you on the other side. Uma. Yeah, kid. Why do you keep helping me? Even after I... Well, after I accused you of doing bad things that you didn't even do? Kid, I don't hold that against you. I would have thought those things about me too if I were you. We've all been given our own challenges. Sometimes, while we're working them out, our pals will collide with others who are working on challenges of their own. <clears throat> we help each other more than we know. It's time for me to go now. I think my time's running out. But you hang in there, okay? Okay. We'll see you later, Uma Thurman. Turn on the water pump to start draining water. Sure. Fuck. 
bucks. 25 gold. Fill up the sink. That's what we do. Whose room is this? Bucket. Little Buds Remix CD. Okay, that's what I thought. But little kiddo wasn't in there. Hello, nurse. Yes, Tony should be happy now. I guess I better go back. Let's see what the the de pump did. That's the whole point of having de pump. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Give me eye. You guys have a drought yet because I've been draining water? Puppers, I want to know what you do, Poochie. Will you let me buy yet? What are you looking at? Nothing here, nothing here at all. Nope. Clearly nothing there. Actually, I'm gonna go back to Stormy and see if she has anything to say. mind up this way keep going okay so no change there well except that the the sad people aren't there anymore whatever they're called Did I go through that one? Door's locked. Okay. Let me see if I can get to... Uh, not little buds specifically, but... Um, it's a note to touch the rocks. Read it. Hanging out at Libu Village, Christina. Okay. So yeah, we gotta go back to the hospital. Cool. Actually, what's over here? What's supposed to be in that pot? Okay, well, that's odd. Why'd you stop? Hello? Oh, there's a bug in the way. Wow. <clears throat> what am I doing? He's gone. And the door's locked again. Okay. I don't think I have any more marbles. Uh nope. Okay. 
Is hers the only one with the door in it? It might be. Can you give me any tools in this world? Nope. Only person left actually is you. Can you give me any clues? Hello. What's new? Did you hear? Winston found Gemma's wedding ring. Turns out it was on her finger this whole time. The weird thing is that she never had it on before. Winston kept it in a box for her near her bed. Winston was so relieved. What'd she done do? Okay. We're back in Label Village. I need a pickaxe. Oh, I have a pickaxe. I need stuff for a net is what I need. Found fun wall stickers. <laughs> bah. Spirit and boy see. Doors locked. Alrighty then, back down the beanstalk we go. Jackie! Welcome back. Boy, I sure can't wait for Star Night this year. I'm gonna use my knowledge of physics to maximize my fun. Beanbag toss? Well, that's just a fancy term for calculating the surface area and velocity to use gravity in your favor. Well, you're not wrong. Oh, okay, you can only make X's and pick X's. Never mind then. Mm. I do need to go back up into the cave. What are you? Hello? I can't talk to you. Buffkiss. <laughs> so you took my berries, did you? No matter, they'll end up in my belly one way or another. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> we'll go up to the cave. And clear out some stuff. If I can remember how to get there. Ah, it worked. I think. Wait a minute. No, oh, that's not, no. I'm supposed to go this way. Because there were rocks down this way that I'm supposed to go through. found a Glen the frog. Caught a frog! Maybe we could take it back to the hospital. I bet it would make a great pet for people on my floor. Okay. It's a frog here. What is it once I cross over?
It's not just a frog, it's a Glenda frog. Is that really the only thing I was missing? Was that open before? It must have been. It is. The game plots against you to get all the good shrooms gone. I swear there was something else. Nope. Okay. Let it dry. Star Knight, we don't have a whole lot right now, but I think we might have some royal jelly. Oh, I'd like a jar. Oh, I got it for free. Hi. Thank you. Everybody, what's going on? You look stressed out. I am. Star Knight is almost here, but nowhere near ready. I'm the village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Knight food. I have to prepare pancakes for the pancake eating contest. Bake another 10 pies, collect Scylla berries for the Scylla berry juice. Hey, if you'd bring me 40 syllabaries, it'd be a lifesaver. What do you say? Sure. Thanks. You need 40? How many do I have? Hey, you came through. Oh, yay, I have them. Yay, thank you. Plenty of juice. When it comes time for starting to old, old, talk to the chef and he'll walk all over you. Um, I don't see anything that's changed. Open my art store. You look stressed out. Don't get me wrong. I love making paper lanterns for the Star Night Festival. It's just I'm running behind and I'm afraid I won't finish them in time. Do you think you'd help me gather materials? Sure. I need a... These look like the ones I have in that face. Don't know how to go around the water. Catching the fireflies might be a bit tricky. I get a jar from Hanky's assistant to catch them with. That's the most important. Okay. That's why I have the jar. And can I only get the fireflies in the other part of town? Probably. something I haven't done yet. Go in the cave. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Okay, good job. Good job, game. How many fireflies did she want? I don't remember. Like five?
four. Five reeds and six butterflies. <laughs> butterflies, fireflies, herp derp. All the reeds I need, now I just need the fireflies. Two more. And if I were a firefly, where would I be? Well, I mean, probably in a cave, but... Oop, sorry. Okay. Just one more. But where would it be? Because that didn't respawn. <clears throat> it was just behind the tree, right? Maybe. It did say six, right? Yeah. They only have five. <clears throat> Isn't there, like, one in a random place somewhere? Aha! There you are. Got it. Oh, and another one. Why not? Come to me. Have your stuff. Oh, I brought everything. Thank you so much. Star night will be bright as it was meant to be. When it's time for Star Night, talk to the chief and he'll walk all Does he say walk all over you? <clears throat> Hard to help the blacksmith get his tools back. Thank you for helping us prepare for Star Night. I was starting to get worried we'd have to cancel it. The storm set us back a lot. But thanks to you guys, everything seems to be running smoothly now. Does that mean star night's starting now? Not quite. It starts at dusk. Why don't you come and visit me when the stars start falling and we'll talk it over together. Do you need something too? Hey, welcome to my store. Are you going to star night? Of course. It's only the biggest thing ever. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> okay, so who's missing a quest? I don't know. Let's go and see if I can put Glenn the Frog somewhere. <clears throat> Out we go. Mom, put on your hat. Okay. Is this all I do? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I just put them in the fun room. Uh, frog. <clears throat> frog! Meh. 
Glenn the Frog. I like our tea set. <clears throat> so who do I need to talk to? The only person left is Cora. That's her name, right? She's got the rainbow stickers. Uh, do I have anything? I didn't bring anything to give. Um, I still haven't found anything different. off because this game is so bright I don't really need it um rock I'm gonna get some more fireflies while I'm at it because what you want to bet I'm gonna need them for some reason you are a hopping sign <clears throat> and an onion. Can't believe I'm missing this ceremony. Ceremony? Yeah, the signs are celebrating Wooden Sign Day. They're singing and dancing. We discuss issues that affect wooden signs. You know, things like mold, termites, culture. Why are you missing it? The other signs made me stand guard so no one would interrupt them. In all honesty, I think it's because they don't like me. They're making fun of me, but I still carry a blanket around with me. Well, technically, it's not a blanket. It's a giant purple bean bag. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. You're right. A wooden sign still carries around a security bean bag, and is he any less of a wooden sign? Definitely not. And now that I've mentioned my bean bag, I feel very weird about it. I bet the other signs are going to try to cut it up or something. No! Oh, it feels so sad. Oh, there, there. I'll help you. How about I help you get it back? Wait, really? You did that for me? Of course. Where is it? In a treasure box inside the cave that I'm supposed to be guarding. I'll do it. Thank you so much. Uh. Haha, <laughs> he keeps the security bean bag in here. We're a big baby. Let's cut it up. Hey, you bullies. 25 miles per hour. Did he just say stop? That's our word. It's time to teach this non sign <laughs> kid listen. Wait, that smell. He has mold on his shoes. Mold? Run! Ha ha ha. Found the big purple security bean bag. Looks like a grape. Here you go. Any luck with the mission? My bean bag! You found my security bean bag! Thank you so much! You know, while I was standing out here thinking about my life, I decided that as much as I love my bean bag, maybe there's someone else who needs it more than I do. Think anyone who might find comfort in a big purple security bean bag that smells like clean laundry? Hmm, perhaps someone at the hospital would like it. We could put it in the new patient lounge. I don't know what a hospital is, but if it would help someone, I want you to have it. Oh, that's very kind of you. I should mention, technically it's called a syllabary beanbag. There we go. A legal artisan from the Skylands made it. He said that the design was inspired by syllabaries. Isn't that neat? Anyway, please take it. Bring my happiness to others for me, my new friends. From here on out, I'm going to try and stand up for myself when others give me a hard time. Good for you, man. Hello. 
Well, aren't you just a doll? You have a good day now, hon. This is sweet onion. <coughs> Are you a fungus? Here I go, rating everyone's security savings. <laughs> Hello. Thankful turkey tail. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for asking. I'm very good. I live on a log. Isn't that neat? I just grew the other day. A tree had to fall before I could grow. It gives me food and a nice place to live. So every day I always think to myself, what a generous tree. I love this tree so much. Aren't you such a good fungus? Where am I? Hello. Steven. Love this music. Play it louder, man. Music? Yeah, you don't hear it? I don't think so. Oh, man, you're missing out. The music is just why I can't stop dancing. I've got an idea. I've got something to help you get in that dancing mood, too. Tiny Planet CD. Thank you. Yeah, man. Up in the morning, anxiously await the great forest guardians awaking. Do you? You ever hear melodies when you feel really emotional or when you're fast asleep? I do. I try to hold on to them as long as I can. I ask myself, where do they even come from? Are they floating around in the air? Did someone put them into my head when I wasn't looking? Music is the best. It is the best. <clears throat> is it dusk now? Can I go to the party? That'd be great. like dusk to me. Who else do I need to talk to? She's so cute. to go on a wild goose chase to find these pumps somewhere. An onion air freshener. Don't know too many people that would consider that an air freshener. I mean, I like the smell of onion, but you know, not that. Not as an air freshener. <clears throat> like when they're cooking. He's making boats. Um. <sighs> Do I go over to the waterfall? There we go. That's where the pump got stuffed. Hello. I know she's waiting for me. I feel so bad. Sue, wait. I wish I could remember where we were supposed to meet, but I can't remember much of anything anymore. She was counting on me. Who was counting on you, Sue? My friend. She needed someone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to take care of her. She didn't have anyone to love her. 
I promised that we'd take care of each other, but I broke that promise. I have to find her. We'll find your friends too, I promise. Thank you. Bell. Is it a Marbell? Ha 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 ha. She dropped this. What do you think it is, Mom? I'm not sure, but when I was a little girl, I used to use a ribbon with a bell on it just like this. It's a pet collar. A pet collar. Yep. The noise from the bell helped us find our cats and dogs when they were hiding, and it made it harder for them to catch birds and mice. Mom, look. It says Bucci on the side. That dog. Bucci's bell. I know right where to go. Bucci! Does that mean the little girl is Pucci? Poochie, 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 poochie. Mom, look. She's sniffing the bell we picked up back there. Are you Sue's friend? Do you want us to take you to her? Yes, follow me, Poochie. Oh, she seems to like such a sweet. We'll take you back to your friend, little one. Yay, Mom, let's go. Yay! I have a dog. She does. <coughs> Residual sniffles from being sick, I apologize. <coughs> Your friend, we found Poochie! Sue! Sue? Mom, where'd she go? I'm not sure, dear. Wow, Poochie, thanks! I'm the dog. But aren't you hungry? I am, but you know I can't go home right now. Well, okay. But just don't catch a cold. It's getting chilly these days. I'll try my best. See you later, Yuki. It's pretty tough for us strays when the weather starts turning cold. I think it might snow soon. Keep warm, pup. Yuki, hi, pup. Another stray dog. I thought the city took care of that problem years ago. Oh, but he's so cute. Store's closed. It smells like plastic bottles. Well, I used to like to chew on those things. Sorry, Papa, can't let you pass. You're new around here, aren't you? Where's your litter? Where's your ma? <clears throat> I don't know. I just woke up this morning and they were all gone. I'm sorry, kid. Well, how about this? If you're looking for a warm place to sleep, prove to me you're a good pup. Bring me something to eat and I'll let you sleep in the alley back here. 
Hot water pipes run directly through it, so it's nice and warm. Good company, too. All the nice cats and dogs hang out back there. Cats and dogs hang out together? Of course, in this town, we strays gotta stick together. Cat, dog, doesn't matter. Deep down, we all just want a warm bed, a full tummy, and someone to love us. So it's a deal, eh? Bring me some food and you can join us. I'll try my best. Put on the big face. But it said the store was closed. Hi. Oh, Looney, why didn't you just come home last night? Everyone told me I shouldn't let you be an outdoor cat because it's too dangerous in the city. But I wanted you to be free. Oh, hello there, doggy. Me? Oh, I'm just really worried right now. My cat, Looney, she usually comes home every night, but last night she didn't return. I had to come to work today, but I'm just worried sick. What if something happened to her? What if she's lost? You probably can't understand what I'm saying. Well, doggy, I'm so sorry, but I can't let you stay inside. My boss has a strict no-dog policy. It's not safe for you here. Please take care, little one. And I just leave on my own accord. Looney! Haha, -ha, no one's guarding it. Oh. I need to talk to Looney. Like egg sandwiches. <clears throat> Last week we lost another friend. The people in that building called Animal Control on him. They came and took him away. Be careful, it's a tough world for us strays. Yeah. Well, that explains why it smells like humans. Hello, I can open doors. Oh my gosh, a stray dog just wandered into the office. Someone call animal control. <laughs> Run away. I smell lots of good things inside. Unfortunately, they're all out of reach. Something in the car. No. <clears throat> Hi, kids. Give me food. Brother and I are trying to get the ruse Italians to grow wings. We have to walk a lot of kilometers before that happens. Wanna run in circles with us? Not really. I want food. My friend said there was a mango crocodilo around here. I haven't caught one of those yet. You guys are playing Pokemon Go. No, lady, no! Okay, so I cannot cross the street. Good to know. Um, hey, you can't just go running into the street like that. You're gonna get hit by a car. Um, well, I tried to use the crosswalk, but there's no button for me. Let me back in, give me food. Oh, hello again. Sorry, I can't let you stay inside. Ah, give me food. <clears throat> I need to talk to Looney, white cat. Not yet. Say, who was that cat who just followed you into the alley? You mean Looney, real sweet black cat. Big yellow eyes? She's actually not a stray. She has a really nice owner who lives in the apartments around here. But she still hangs out with us. That's rare, you know? Most domestics don't want to mess with our kind, but Looney's different. I know I don't have any food for you yet, but would it be alright if I went into the alley just for a bit? I have a message for Looney. It's about her owner. Eh? Okay. He's really worried about her. I guess she didn't come home last night? Hmm. Okay, you seem like an honest pup. I'll let you back there just for a bit to talk to Looney. Thank you.
Lulisa Podcast right over there. Go ahead and deliver your message. I'll wait here for you. Hello, Looney. I uh, I guess I saw your owner, and um, he seemed really, really worried about you. He said you didn't come home last night. Oh, no, I was afraid he'd worry. You see, I don't usually stay away from the house for this long, but this was an emergency. My best friend's owner passed away, and he's really sad and needs my company right now. Oh, Lady, I don't want your owner to worry. You've already been such a great help to me during this time. You should go back to him. I'll be fine now. Kenny, are you sure? I'm sure. I think I need a nap now anyway. I'll come back every day just as I always do because you're my best friend. You're my best friend too, Lady. Thank you for letting me know about this. Do you think you could take me to my owner? Okay. Little kitty. Are you okay? Oh, you're asleep. Okay. <clears throat> there any food back here? Hi, raccoon. What? Oh, I see. You made a new friend. Ready to head out? Yes. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Bark. Doggy, I'm really sorry, but I can't let you... Looney, is that you? Oh, Looney, I thought something awful had happened to you. Is this doggy your friend? Thank you for bringing me my cat back to me. It's so, I'm so relieved she's okay. Come here, I've got something for you. To say thank you, why don't you have some of this fish cake? Yum. Take care, little one. I have food. Oh my goodness, that heavenly scent is that fish cake. You can have it if you like. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it together. Come on, pup, you're one of us now. Hey, what a good cat. That's significantly more food than I did. Tonight we have a very special treat, courtesy of our new friend, Poochie. Is that fish cake? Fish cake! And I must say, champ, you did an amazing job as well. The baker's wife gave me all their leftovers because I ate a squirrel that was destroying her garden. <clears throat> Bravo! There's enough donuts here to start our own bakery. Cat and a dog bakery, that'll be the day. Well, welcome to the first official Tokyo Cat and Dog Bakery. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's eat. Don't get hit by a car! Where's that dog? Boss said she'd be by the elementary, elementary school. Let me check the orders again. Uh-oh. You look like... Kisiboro. There she is! Get her! No! Oh. Okay, Pop, you're coming to us now. She's awfully calm for a stray, isn't she? Yeah, she's a nice dog. It's a shame no one will adopt her. Too mangy. Such a forlorn look on her face. Kind of reminds you of Hachiko, doesn't she? Heh, <laughs> you're right. Big mangy Akita like Hachiko wouldn't last too long in today's Tokyo. Such a shame. They'll probably put her down in seven days like all the others. Wait! You put her, You can't put her down?! Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. I know it sounds really sad, but there's just too many stray dogs and not enough homes. No, I mean, you can't put her down because... Because... Because she's my dog. She's your dog? Yes! What's her name? Her name... Her name is Poochie. Poochie! Poochie, did you sneak outside again? I told you to stay in the yard. I see. And where's Poochie's collar? Oh, um... Well, you see, she keeps taking it off because it's too tight. Mom's been meaning to get her a new one, one that fits, but she works full-time, so she's really busy. Okay, but please be careful that your fence is dog-proof next time. And if the dog gets out, it's very dangerous, for people as well as for the dog. I understand, sir. It won't happen again. Keep an eye on her. 
I will, sir. I promise. <clears throat> Phew, that was a close one. I can't believe they were gonna put you down. <clears throat> Such a nice and beautiful dog like you. I just couldn't let that happen. Mom and Dad would never let me keep a dog as a pet. But that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Oh, you must be so hungry. I actually have some leftovers from lunch that you can have. But we should probably go someplace safer. Come on, I have just the place. Okay, Bucci, today I want to show you my favorite place. See this tree? I call it the lonely tree. Why do I call it that? Well, it's all by itself. It's too tall to talk to the grass. It doesn't have a whole lot in common with the bushes. There just aren't any other trees here. It needs someone to talk to. Oh, don't worry. The tree isn't lonely when I'm here, and I come here a lot. It's my favorite place. When it's hot, the tree gives me shade. When I'm scared, it lets me hide in its branches. We talk together and just hang out. It's nice, you know? Anyway, since I walk by here every day after school, do you want this to be our meeting place? I'll save part of my lunch for you, and we can play games together. How does that sound? It's a deal, then. I gotta go home now, but here's some food for you. I wasn't that hungry today, so there's a lot left. Hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow, Bucci. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay, Bucci. Now it's my turn to hide. Close your eyes. Are they close for reals? Okay, then count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. You're never gonna find me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're hiding in a tree. Haha, <laughs> you found me. Now it's your turn to hide. Tell us about your marbles, Sue. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Sue. Tell us how you think they're actually little planets. She thinks they're planets. Ha <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take them out of the jar right now. Why? With all the little aliens spill out. Ha <laughs> ha. She's such a weirdo. I don't like taking them out at school. No. You don't want to take them out because they're just plain old marbles. They're not just marbles. So she admits it. She thinks her marbles are planets. She's crazy. Ha ha ha. Leave me alone. Come on, Sue. Let us see your planets. Get away from me. <clears throat> Get your scary straight dog away from us. Oh, Poochie. Thank you. People don't always like you when you're different. Maybe it's just how it is, like how cats and dogs don't get along. What's that, Bucci? You used to hang out with cats and they wanted to start a dog and cat bakery? Wow, that's really cool. I needed a place like that. That became one of her marbles. That's one of her planets. Poochie, today I want to show you where I live. No, Poochie. Sorry, girl. It's just that you can't bark around here or we could get in trouble. Thanks for understanding. There's bars on the windows. Well, this is my home. I really wish I could show you my room, but Dad's home right now. He gets pretty angry if he's napping and someone wakes him up. He came home late last night because he was out playing this grown-up game. You know, the kind of game where you drink grown-up drinks and lose a lot of money. I don't like those games. But don't worry, I still have a lot of cool things I can show you in the yard. Like, see over here? Earlier this year, some morning doves made a nest in this bush. See how, long the how low to the ground it was? I came and checked on them every morning before school. And one day the babies flew away. Oh! Hmm, where did I put it? 
Here it is. See how much this rock looks like a duck? What the heck is this? Calm down, dear. I needed to wash your clothes. I I told you not to move my things. Dad's awake. Come on, Poochie. We gotta go follow me. Oh, that's so sad. Quick, Poochie in here. That was close. We can hide here until things calm down. Wanna look at my Marvel collection? I don't have the whole jar with me, but I have a few ones in my pocket. Where I, when I have to hide, I like to choose a marble and make a new world. Will you make a new world with me, Poochie? Let's see. How about this one? I found this marble at the base of the lonely tree, and it's the color of amber. It made me think the tree was giving me a present. I think this planet has a really big tree in it. The tree is so big that everyone live, who live, everyone lives there together. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. And the tea room is upside down, so we can walk on the ceiling. Your tea won't even fall out of the cup. <clears throat> of course, you can sit at the table with me and share my food. You want to make up another world? Okay, what will yours be like? Cat and dog bakery planet? That's a great idea. Are you moving, Poochie? He left. He just took all his things and now he's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Poochie, do you think he was a bad person? Do you think he left because he didn't care? Was he afraid? Did he not love us anymore? Poochie, I made you something today. It's your very own collar. I used pink ribbon and a bell I got from school. That way everyone will know that you have someone who loves you and wants to take care of you. I'll always be there for you, Poochie, I promise. Oh, I don't think this collar is going to be long enough. That's okay. I have more ribbon at home. I can fix it later. Okay, Poochie, I gotta go early today. Gotta help Mom with some stuff. But I'll see you tomorrow. Poochie, you're my best friend. Does she not come back on the day? She gets, like, hit by a car or something. And she ended up at the hospital. Can't go yet, Mom. I have to talk to my friend. I know moving's a scary thing, but trust me, Sue, you'll make new friends. I don't want to make new friends. This is my best friend, and she needs me. I can't just leave her. I don't understand why we have to move anyway. I can't just go... Can't I just go to the doctor here? We're going to send Dai to stay with your uncle and aunt because it's closer to the kind of medical care you need. Sue, I know it's difficult, but your father is not here anymore. Practically speaking, it's just too expensive for us to live here. Then can I bring my friend with me? For the last time, no. Now go. Now please, Sue, get in the car. So sad. So sorry. I knew that Chico reference was gonna come back and bite us. Mom, where are we? I'm not sure, sweetie. Feels cold and really empty. I know, dear. It's probably best, probably best if we keep walking. 
<clears throat> Hello. Uma? What are you doing here? I failed her. Who? I don't know why I'm still here, boy. After all that bad things I've done, I don't deserve to still be walking these paths. I had a life. I had a vice. Maybe I didn't know what I had at the time, and I ran away from my problems. In the most cowardly way a man can. Are you her dad? They needed me. Sue needed me. So now I spend my days wandering these worlds in hopes that I can find something, anything, to make this pain go away. Did you take care of her while I was away? We took care of each other. She's strong, isn't she? Maybe you can't change the past? But you can still do something for her, Uma. What's that? Let her know that you love her, and that you always did. Even when it didn't seem that way. Why are you so old? Thank you, boy. Well, I think the time has come for me to cross these worlds. It's been a real pleasure. Goodbye. Uh... I'm so sorry for leaving you. I remember now you waited for me by the tree near our old home. That's why she was sitting by the tree. Oh my gosh. I wanted to meet you there. I wanted to so badly. Thank you for understanding, girl. I'll never leave you again. I promise. Oh, he's fading. He switched places with her. Goodbye, Sue. <clears throat> Ding! Who's the last one? Hey! You guys are still here? Hi, Danielle. Since you're still here, you should come join us for Star Night tonight. Thank you! What's Star Night again? Only the biggest celebration of the whole year? It's basically the best. Trust me. Okay. When it's time for Star Night, talk to the chief and he'll walk over with you. Okay. <coughs> See you soon. Excuse me. <clears throat> I think we're going to have to do Star Night a different night, though. Because I am getting a little tired. <clears throat> so, let's see who's on. Lots of people will go to Skoka. Have a good night, and thanks for being here.